Good morning my friends and welcome back to the vlog. So today I thought I would do a day in the life vlog for you guys. If you're new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in Arizona. Today's goal of this video is to show you how I am setting up my Google Classroom and planning for my students. Today I really wanted to focus on showing you guys how I'm going to be managing teaching online. So I'm going to show you how I've set up my Google Classroom, how I plan on communicating with students, and kind of like the odds and outs of departmentalized online. So I'm going to show you that today. So it is 7.30 in the morning and I'm just doing my morning duties. So that includes opening the blinds so my plants can get some love. Okay friends, I'm here. Let's do a quick outfit of the day, shall we? I know you guys like these. Okay. I'm wearing some jeans because nobody's going to see me today. Um, these are the mom jeans from American Eagle. I love them. They're super comfortable. Very stretchy. Flip flops. Cute little toe band-aid because I dropped a weight on my toe. Um, this shirt is from Target. I'm sure you guys have seen it. And then... My new glasses. I love them. Okay. I brought in a new plant child. Apothos. Thank you to my bestest friend, Mandy. She uh, went to this beautiful place called the Plant Stand here in Arizona. And they have the most beautiful indoor plants ever. Like, I haven't been, but every time she goes, she takes pictures. And I just salivate over how many beautiful plants they have. So she got me that pothos, another smaller pothos, and then she got me a snake plant for my friend Nicole, who I work out with, and then she got me a monstera, and it's so beautiful. Put that up and around yesterday. Okay, so she's gonna live up there. We'll see how she does. This will probably move down here. How are you doing up there? Got that one. I need to find a new home for my globe. This is probably fine. Wow, look how beautiful these plants go. We got another leaf. I got three now. I was really afraid of this one. This is a um, arrowhead plant. I was worried about you. Looks like I'm gonna need to water at some point today. But now I feel good, I've got plants all over. So I stopped at Starbucks. I'm not trying to get in the habit of doing this, but I um, really just wanted that sausage egg wrap from the other day that I never got. So I went and got it. Okay, things that I bring with me, iPad for my agenda or planner. I need to get in a habit of writing in that more often than I do on little like pieces of paper. Um, I also brought my schedule. I'm planning on putting that in a sheet protector and hanging it outside my door so that if someone wants to speak with me or schedule some sort of meeting, I can just have that outside and they can see it. Um, I also brought, so I made this on air sign and it just has my Bitmoji holding a video camera. I had to edit that in. I'm planning on putting this outside my door when I'm filming class lessons because I don't want people coming in and like interrupting me when I'm right in the middle of filming a lesson. It's kind of just like in normal school. People come in and interrupt. <laughs> so I brought those. Um, I brought my school computer and my personal computer. Once my iMac shows up, which is supposed to be here today, I'm planning on trying to use my MacBook as much as possible for school because I'm just used to a Mac. The, um, the Dell that I'm using for school is just not really cutting it like it's just hard it's just one extra you know what i mean like when you're used to the spacing of your stuff and then it changes it's just weird so i'm gonna try to use my macbook as much as possible i'll probably end up leaving my school computer here because there's nothing on it that i cannot access from my own computer so i'm gonna just plan for that okay so let's talk google classroom because I'm a departmentalized fourth grade teacher, I have to have three class periods. That means that I need to have three separate Google Classrooms to help with grading. 
In Synergy, which is our attendance and grading system, I actually have seven periods. Social studies and science are split into two, and then I have a homeroom. So to be able to keep track with grading online, I'm gonna wanna keep my three class periods separate so that I can grade easier. However, having three separate Google Classrooms, all the same subject, is a little bit annoying because every week I do a weekly agenda page. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm just going to hold this camera up because I'm not going to film right now. So basically, every week I'm going to put this agenda page up on the classroom stream and the kids will use it to interact and click on all of the things that I want them to do every day. Eventually, I will probably move this to a slide per day. That way, it's a little bit more spread out and not as jumbled, but this is for the first three days of school, so I wanted to make it as simple as possible. But basically, the problem with having three different Google Classrooms is that I have to have three different agenda slides because if I put a link to an assignment that's only in my first classroom, then my second and third period students will go to the first classroom's assignment, I think. If any of you know any loopholes with this, please let me know. If it's because, like if, if somebody's linked to the same Google slide, like if all three of them are linked to the same slideshow and they each get a copy, if I link the slideshow, will it take them to their copy? I'm not sure. So I've had to copy and paste, like I've had to have all three classrooms open and then have all three slides open so I can post their um, special links. The only thing that I can share is my Google Meet link, which really isn't even going to work because I'm going to have a special nickname every day. So here's how the schedule works. For every class period, I have one 30 minute Google Meet every day. First one starts at 8.50. So if I get to school at eight o'clock, I have 50 minutes to plan and film a lesson for the next week. So my schedule will kind of go like, I'll have a prep hour and then I'll do a Zoom meeting, or sorry, a Google Meet. And then I will have another hour and a half prep and then a half hour Google Meet, another hour and a half prep slash lunch, another Google Meet, another hour and a half prep, and then an office hour. The office hour is when I open up a Google Meet and any student who has any questions or needs any help with anything can log in and meet with me on Google Meet. This is also for parents who have questions or need help. So, with that being said, today's schedule for me is to finish planning for the first three days of school and begin planning for the second week of school, which is a full week of school. I've been given instructions that on the first week of school, we are to be doing community building and showing our students how to turn in assignments and be successful in Google Classroom. So I'm thinking I'll probably film a couple of helpful videos today, maybe on my computer, just showing kids how to log into Google Classroom, how to go ahead and open up a meet, things like that to kind of just help move them along. I also finished my class schedules, which I needed to finish today. That was on my to-do list for the day. Tomorrow's when I will be emailing those out, as well as my parent letters. I decided to switch from Class Dojo to the Remind app, and I will tell you why. First of all, I'm not going to be using Class Dojo to monitor any student behavior because I'm departmentalizing, and also we're teaching online to begin with, so I'm not going to use Class Dojo to monitor student behavior. Um, I might use it for my own tool, but as far as with parents goes, probably not. Like I'll probably have it up on my iPad while I'm in a Zoom meeting and if a student is having trouble behaving, I can put a mark on their dojo. That way I can just kind of track it a little bit easier. Um, but for parent communication, I decided to use the Remind app and that is because you can send one link out to families and they sign up with that one link rather than me having to send out a personal link to every single one of my students. That's 80 students and I just do not have the time for that, nor do I have the patience. So I'm using the Remind app. It's basically the same thing as Class Dojo. It's just not a behavior management tool, so there's no like student 
points or anything. And I also wanted to do more of a class management system this year rather than individual. So because I'm PBIS school, we all obviously have like tickets that we pass out. So I thought instead of using dojo points, I would use those tickets a lot more than I used in the past before I kind of like combined the two. This year, I really just want to use the PBIS tickets. And then I also want to do like class competition. So period by period. Um, class prizes rather than individual like items they can purchase. I'll probably still put a menu on the board of things that they can like purchase with their cards or their tickets every Friday. Um, so like shoes off for the day or like sit in the library uh, for one lesson or you know sit the teacher's desk stuff like that. Stuff that I would normally have in my dojo store rather I would just use the tickets. So I'm using Remind that's going to be really helpful. I feel like I'm speeding at the speed of light. I'm not going to film any videos for you guys that show how to use Google Classroom or how to use Google Apps because I think that there are other YouTubers out there who have done a way better job than I would do. Um, I'm just trying to share my personal experience with you guys. So three Google Classrooms, three separate daily or weekly agenda slides. Um, I need to film four video lessons per week. The fifth video can be a video from somewhere else. So it could be like um, a YouTube video that I found or some sort of other video that I found. Um, but I need to have five videos per week, four of them personal lessons, pre-filmed and recorded. I also have to record all of my Google Meets and post them in Google Classroom so that if a student did not make it to the Google Meet, they can log in later, watch the Google Meet back later, and then um, if they didn't show up to the Meet, they will have to comment um, stating that they watched the video of the Google Meet. So um, that's another thing that I am required to do. All grades need to be posted by Thursday evening. So basically this week, whatever the kids do this week will need to be posted the following Thursday. And then everything the kids do next week will post the following Thursday. So it'll be kind of like a rotating door. Um, grades will be updated every Thursday in Synergy. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can share with you guys that is... Um, I have to email 80 parents today, 80 plus parents, no not today, tomorrow. Um, my homeroom students, I'll be emailing their class schedules and then the rest of the parents, I will be emailing the remind link and then I will also send them basically a parent letter from me because I'm the social studies teacher. I have my own parent letter I want to send to everyone just explaining like supplies, things that students need, things like that. Um, and then like that way every parent has my email and contact information as well. So I have rambled on and on all morning already. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start working. And if anything comes up, I will let you guys know. <sighs> I have all day. I don't have any meetings today. I don't have, I finished email lists. I finished class schedules. So all I have left to do is plan and it feels really good to do that. Hi friends, so it is now 1241 and I am just about done sending my homeroom welcome emails. So this is taking a lot of time because instead of just typing in all of the email addresses, I do have to send a separate email with all of my students' individual schedules. So it is taking me a while. So I have like a little thing I do. So I start at the top and go down. So first I type the email address. This is so silly. Then I do the subject, welcome to fourth grade, exclamation point. Then I attach my parent letter, a how to join a Google Classroom document, and the password and student login information tips page that the district provided. Then I have to go and download the student's um, schedule from my Google Drive. So I have to download it. Then I attach that and then I copy and paste the physical email that I had typed up. 
In this email is a link to Remind. There's a Google form, which is a parent survey. I ask questions like, what does your child like to do? If you caught your child on a tablet, computer, or phone, what do you think they'd be watching? Um, I just wanna get to know the kids. I asked about extracurriculars. Do, is your child involved in any sports, programs, clubs? I just wanna start getting like a good idea. I also put in there, what does your home learning environment look like? And I put, for example, and then I just typed up like, I will be home with my student every day helping them get through Google Classroom, or I work so my child will be at home with their older sibling, or my child will be at their grandma's house. Like I put examples of how I want this to be addressed in there because I wanna make sure that I understand what this child's learning environment looks like so that I can better support them. So let's see, I have four attachments, I have an email, I have the address, okay, send. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So the only issue with this is that, so we're supposed to send these emails out tomorrow, the 21st. School starts the 22nd. I do not think that that is enough time to give families to get all of this done go out and get the supplies they need for online learning because it's different than in the classroom. So I'm sending out my emails today. The only thing is, is I do have a list of kids who will be in like the reading lab kind of situation and they will have an extra Google Meet that they will have to attend. So I'm going to send them an extra email later once that schedule comes to me because it hasn't come to me yet. And I wanna get this out to parents so that they can get logged into Google Classroom, start figuring it out, have a couple days to respond and email me, that way I'm not bombarded on the first day of school with a ton of questions how to do it. I'd rather get it done earlier. So I have about seven emails left, so I'm just going to finish these. And then I think I might go home and work from home and do some planning. Uh, my first week of school is done, it's planned for, it's posted in Google Classroom. I am now working on the second week of school, which is also going to be half community building, get to know you and procedures, and half starting with science. We're gonna start with like, what is a scientist? Um, what do scientists do? So we'll talk about the scientific method. And then um, I'm also going to get them started on their daily see, think, wonder assignment because they'll be doing one of those every day. So that is what I'm up to. Um, I have not seen that my computer has been delivered yet. So that's kind of why I want to work from home today because I don't want that computer to be delivered and I'm not there. I might go to the grocery store before I go home because um, I do need to go to the grocery store. Uh oh. Oh, whew. I was like, is it like a non-deliverable? Because I've had a, I had one non-deliverable email saying they couldn't deliver it to that email. I think it's because the parent provided the wrong email. I think they typed it wrong. So I fixed that. And so, yeah, I'm gonna finish up these emails and then I'll be done with this. Although I'm not done because I do have to email the other two classes but that email can be more generic. There isn't like a specific thing I need to put in there so I can just put all the emails in the bar and call it a day. Good. Hey you guys, so it is now the next day. It is um, Tuesday the 21st. I'm sitting here in my office. I decided to work from home today because my computer was delivered yesterday when nobody was home and so they didn't leave it here obviously. So I stayed home to work today so that I could sign for the computer and it is here and I love it. And I'm starting to work on it. Um, I decided I'm going to use my iMac for my like personal computer like Apple's and Tiara's. I'll probably make some stuff on it, um, and I'm not gonna use it for school stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and use my MacBook for school stuff. I also have a school computer, but it's a Dell, and I'm just not used to using those. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. So again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, and of course, I hope you guys are having a splendid, splendid beginning to your school year. If you haven't started plans yet, just take a deep breath, 
it's gonna be really tough, but we can do this. We've done it before. Uh, we're teachers, we're superheroes. I mean, it's gonna take a minute, but we'll be fine. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!